Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Now we proceed to second lecture on chapter 8. In our previous lecture, we learn about how to find the derivative of a function fx using the first principle. And the second one is how to find the derivative by using the rules of differentiation. Okay, now in lecture 2, we still in the second subtopic, we have to apply the rules of differentiation for the chain rules, product rules and quotient rules. The first rule here is chain rule. If y equal f u is a differentiable function of u and u equal g x is a differentiable function of x, therefore y equal f g x is a differentiable function of x, then dy dx equal dy du times with du dx or equivalently differentiable of gx is f prime gx times with g prime x now we look at the first example how to find dy dx if we have the function of u and we have the function of x here we have y in terms of u then we are going to differentiate y with respect to u then we write dy du we differentiate y with respect to u so we get here is 3 u squared minus 6 u and then here when we have u in terms of x we differentiate u with respect to x is equal to x. And now we are going to find the dy dx. As we know that chain rule, dy dx is equal dy du times with du dx. So here, dy dx is equal 3u squared minus 6u times with 2x and then we have to simplify before we simplify this answer we have to substitute u because now dy dx we we said that we differentiate y with respect to x then we substitute u in terms of x here we get u is x squared plus 2 minus 6 Okay, u squared, uh, u squared here minus 6 x squared plus 2 and then we close the bracket times with 2x and here after that we can put 2x in front then we simplify in the big bracket first x squared plus 2 all squared we get x power 4 plus 4 x squared plus 4 minus 6 x squared minus 12 and we close the bracket then we can simplify this one 
as 3x power 4 plus 12 x squared plus 12 minus 6 x squared minus 12 so what we get here okay we can simplify plus 12 and minus 12 plus 12 x squared minus 6 x squared we get plus 6 x squared after that we can factorize the 3x power 4 and 6x squared. Okay, we can factor out 3x squared. And then here we have the x squared plus 2. Okay, when we can leave the answer like this or we can multiply, we can simplify this one. 2x with the 3x squared, we get 6x cubed times with x squared plus 2. Okay, this is the final answer. In general, any composite function of the form y equal fx power n involving some function fx raised to a rational power n is called the general power rule and it is a special case of the chain rule. Now, we see y equal fx power n then we let y equal u power n we substitute u equal fx here then we differentiate y with respect to u then we get n u power n minus 1 and then we res differentiate u with respect to x then we get f prime x using the chain rule we know that dy dx equal dy du times with du dx. So, dy dx is equal nu power n minus 1 times with f prime x. Then we substitute u equal fx. Therefore, we get to differentiate the function fx power n, we get n times with fx power n minus 1 times with f prime x. Let's look at example 2. Find the derivative of y equal 2x power 4 minus 9x plus 6 and all power 4 then here we write the dy dx we differentiate y with respect to x and we are going to use the general power rule then we bring down the power here we have 4 times with we write rewrite the function 2x power 4 minus 9x plus 6 power 4 minus 1. And then we multiply with the derivative of the function here. We have 8x cubed minus 9. Then we arrange the factor here 4 times 8x cubed minus 9 and 2x power 4 minus 9x plus 6 cubed and this is the 
final answer. Next, we go to another question. The question given in the form of fraction. For your information, general power rule can be used for the function y equal fx power n. Before we differentiate this fraction, we have to change to the function like this. We change it to the form 2 times with 3x squared minus 1 power negative 1 over 5. After that, we can differentiate y with respect to x by using general power rule. Now, we differentiate dy dx equal 2 times with, we bring down the power here, negative 1 over 5 times with the function 3x squared minus 1 power negative 1 over 5 minus 1, we get negative 6 over 5 and multiply with the differentiable for the 3x squared minus 1 here, we get 6x and then we close bracket. Then, we simplify in the big bracket first. Here, we get negative 6x over 5 times with 3x squared minus 1 power negative 6 over 5. And we can bring down the 3x squared minus 1 power negative 6 over 5 so and we can multiply 2 with the negative 6x we get negative 12x over 5 times with 3x squared minus 1 power 6 over 5 okay this is the final answer